It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be, couldn't you be, won't you be my neighbor? Something like that, right? <laughs> What's up everyone? I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, got a couple packages yesterday that arrived in the mail. One came from, let me see, this one came from Lazada. Lazada is like an Amazon here in the Philippines. And this one actually came from Amazon itself. I know somebody asked me about Amazon, if they deliver here to the Philippines. Amazon does deliver, never had a problem with them delivering here. Just when you order, you gotta check and make sure they deliver to the Philippines. That's the key. Um, so yes, they do deliver Amazon. You can order and they do deliver. Um, but anyways, what's in the package? What's in the package? Let's check it out. We're doing a package unveiling this morning. What do we have here? What do we have here? Purple Panda. My Purple Panda microphone has arrived. Uh, been waiting for this, waiting for this. You guys know I've been following me. I've been having problems with the old microphones on uh, when I do moto vlogs, but the Purple Panda has arrived. We will check that out later on when we go for a ride. And what can this possibly be? All right. Let me show you what it is. Lipo Safe Bag for Mavic Pro. It's a battery uh, holder for the Mavic Pro battery. Battery right here. Stick it in. Jack, ching, bada, bing. It's like a safety bag. Uh, in case it explodes, it catches fire, whatever. They created these safety bags, so I got them. Um, but anyways, that's what was in the bags, in the, in the uh, packages. I waited probably over three weeks for them to arrive, and they both arrived yesterday. Uh, but anyways, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna head up to the Jeepney checkpoint, and I'm gonna show you the Jeepneys and how they have them set up, and what you have to do to ride the Jeepneys now. Um, it's pretty interesting to say. I guess uh, you would call it their chimp, protection riding a jeepney but uh i'll hook up the i'll hook up the new purple panda and take a little scoot up there and i'll show you what's going on up there with the jeepneys today what is today saturday as you can see the traffic is not that bad it's right around nine o'clock i did notice yesterday uh, when I was going up to the city there to film and exercise, traffic was not as bad as what it was on Monday. So traffic has eased up a little bit here. But this, this was like a parking lot <laughs> Monday from the video I did. I do hope this purple panda microphone is working. I have a clip to my shirt outside with a, what do they call them, my cat's, uh, what is it, cat tail or cat something or another. You're supposed to be able to uh, put it on your microphone and the wind, it cuts down the wind. afternoon it does get nice and hot nice and humid this is always a mess right here if there's any place that needs a traffic light on this road it's right there by the store what has got a new employee she's training her one brother's going back to the province he says he's going back at the end of the month uh Beloit. The one that's been at the store since uh, 
he came up here. He's over in Dalu, he stayed there. Uh, over here he stays, stays at the store all the time. Sleeps there, eats there, showers there, legos there, whatever. Uh, he says he's going back at the end of the month. Hopefully he will. I mean, he uh, we'll miss him because he is definitely a good worker. Very good worker. Never wanted to go anywhere. They ask him, hey, you want to go to the mall? Nah, hey, you want to go? Nah. Like he didn't like, he just didn't like going anywhere. <laughs> I don't get it. MacArthur Boulevard is fairly empty. I'm going to ask how much uh, trike rides are till. I know how much they should be from certain points. I've seen an article where they were saying that certain areas, trike drivers were, I, it wasn't here in Angles, it was another area where they were overcharging. There's a set fee. These guys have a set fee that they work with with the city and and whoever else, and they have a set fee for the first kilometers, and then so many pesos per kilometer after that. They're not allowed, or they're not supposed to set their own fees, but they will. You know they will. Uh, that's the way it rolls. You're gonna need a ride. You're gonna you're gonna pay it. It's wrong though. And I know I know the mayor here had said that uh, if you are being overcharged, take their number, take their plate, take their ID, and report them. But we're coming up here on the right hand side, Friendship Terminal. I gotta find a place to park. All right, guys, we are at the Friendship Jeepney Terminal. Let me show you how they have this set up here. You can see here, they got a clear plastic barrier running right down the middle here. This appears to be wood. and looks like they have it stapled on this wood here. Have it tied off here. And it runs all the way down the middle. Those are pieces of wood too that run across. And then they have a plastic barrier between each seat here, all the way down through. So you can sit one, two, three, four, total of eight in the back. And then I think one up front. So nine and then 10 with the driver. So that's how they have it set up. Uh, I've seen some without the middle barrier, but this one has the middle barrier. There's a different angle of how it looks. So yeah, one, two, three, four, eight, eight people total. Oh, and there's a driver, the driver, and then there's a plastic barrier in the middle right there. So 10 total, that's how they have it. Um, I did see on some of them, I don't see them here. Yeah, I don't see them here, but some of them had signs on the back that said, no face mask, no ride. So they have, they have them all set up, you know, everybody's different here. There's a piece of PVC pipe there that the guy has mounted in between. And then he mounted it to the handrails up there. And then there's also a barrier I see between the driver and the back area. As you can see here, there's a barrier here, a plastic barrier. This is it. This is how they're doing it. This one here, you can see, doesn't have the middle barrier going all the way down. It has a smaller, shorter one through here. And I've always said, oh, hang on, here we go. Here's, here's what I was talking about. No face mask, no ride. No face mask, no ride. This one here is set up different. <laughs> you can see it's different. They got the plastic right in front of the, the, the passenger. I always said the jeepneys here, they're ugly. <laughs> they are ugly. 
He's got his home quarantine pass up in his window there. They're just ugly, plain, white, brown. Different ones go to different areas. So you always see different jeepneys running here. You go down to like Manila and different areas. The jeepneys, they're cool looking. These are just ugly. I always said ugly. I don't know what these are, the drivers right here. The drivers. All right, drivers. Drivers. Yeah. Glad to be back to work. Good, good. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, yes. But the main thing is you're back to work. You're making money. <laughs> huh? Yeah, social distancing. Hey, what is the procedure for riding? How, what kind of for, uh, for the, to ride pesos? Ten? Nine pesos only. Nine pesos only. And then, and then nine passengers. No, not nine. Four passengers, eight passengers. Eight, and then four, four. one up front. Four, so four, four. one up front. So total ten. Total ten. Yeah. Now, do you have to sign anything to get on, or you just need a mask? Just a mask. Yeah, yeah. Just mask. Okay. No mask, no ride. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> See, somebody told me that. Uh, somebody had told me that you need. Uh, to sign a piece of paper with your address and telephone number on it and stuff. Well, that's not true. So yeah, you just come up, you wait. You wait till the jeepney's full, which shouldn't take long. <laughs> shouldn't take long. Uh, are they stopping along the way? I wonder, I, gotta, I should ask, ask one of them if they stop along the way and pick up. There it is. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello. That's what it looks like when everybody's in. I got room for one more. One more. <laughs> and it's a full house. They said they packed like 18 in here. Well, this is good. They always have these little refreshment stands right here. There was a lot more in here than, uh, than there, there was more in here than what, what you see now. But selling trinkets and food and oh oh thank you i got going to ask him if it's point to point or if they stop along the way hey buddy are they stopping along the way or is it point to point point to point only no stopping picking up it's just point to point okay good deal yeah, I was wondering that it was point to point. That's a full house right there. They're ready to go. Everybody's in there. There they go. Now I'm going to take a walk across the street. We'll take a, take a little stroll down uh, on the road here. 49.50. Good morning. Uh, I noticed that the other day. I got, the other day when I went to the bank, it was straight 50. When I went to the bank and then went to my exchange rate or exchange person, straight 50. So it's going down. It's been a while since it's been down to 49. Down the vegetables. I'll just take a little walk. I know I've walked this place down through here so many times. Get away from that music. Look, this guy's selling, uh, he's selling crabs. Yeah. That was a big crab. You got some shrimp. Mm. I'm good, call you. Okay. I mean, hi, right, buddy. Everybody says, quit calling people, young guys, cool you. All right, buddy, there it is. I'm good, buddy. I wouldn't buy that. What's up, man? I wouldn't buy them. I'd buy them if they were fresh. If they were fresh caught out of the ocean, I'd buy them. But uh, not sitting along the road like that. 
Usually the crabs, if you buy them at the market, they're still alive. Um, they banned they banned the pinchers, of course. And uh, but they're still alive. They're moving. Those those were dead. I would never buy them. Slowly but surely. What's up, buddy? I'm going, buddy. Buddy, I gotta call everybody, buddy. I'm good, buddy. I'm using the GoPro with the new mic too. So hopefully the sound sounds good. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy, Makano to uh, Marky Mall or uh, SM Mall. SM Mall? Oh. 100. Uh, it's the going price. That's what it's always been. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, the, that's what it's always been. Is it overpriced? Yes. But that's what the price is. From where he's standing or from where he's at to Marky Mall, which is. Basically across the street, right up to the left there. Uh, it'd take you 10 minutes to walk from here. 100 pesos. Two, uh, what's that, 100 pesos, two bucks. You know, these guys have still been sitting here this whole time. They never moved during the chimp problem. Mega Joe's been sitting here forever. And that Mega Joe's been sitting there forever. They never ever move. Even during the chimp problem, they never move. <laughs> They've always been here. All right, that's it. That's what's going on today. That's the update on the jeepneys. Uh, they're not a full force, but they are running. They are making money. Uh, and once again, we're slowly, slowly getting back to the to uh, normality, I guess you could say. So anyways, guys, you take care of yourself, take care of each other, your family, your kids, the elderly, the sick, and um, we'll talk to you later.